All right, I'm going to do a proof of the law of cosines, but before we do the proof of the law of cosines, you need to know what the law of cosines is. And here's what it is. It's a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of a. And this minus sign is really the killer that hurts most people. But first, I'm going to do the proof. Um, I'm going to just prove this one here. And I'm going to say a squared equals, and now I'm going to take a look. a squared really equals... Um, b squared plus c squared, uh, I'm sorry, nope, a squared equals h squared plus b minus x squared, using the Pythagorean theorem. I'm going to look at this triangle here. I'm going to look at this triangle here. And then I'm going to say, all right, um, that's true. And now I'm also going to say, all right, but what is the cosine of a? I'm just going to do some nice little work over here. The cosine of a would be the adjacent over the hypotenuse, that's x over c. So I'm just going to cross multiply. I'm going to say, so that really means that x equals c, little c, cosine of a. All right. So let's see. I have a squared equals h squared plus, well, b minus x squared is really b minus x times b minus x. I'll do some work over here, although I don't really like to. Um, you get b squared minus 2bx plus x squared. So I'm going to write that down. b squared minus 2bx plus x squared. All right, well, that's good. Uh, so now let's see. <coughs> h squared plus x squared, I'm probably going to run out of colors by the time I finish this, h squared plus x squared really equals c squared. So a squared equals, I'm going to get rid of this and this, I'm going to write in c squared plus b squared minus 2bx, right? That's where that came from, and that's where this came from. So now, eh, I don't really like this color, I'm going to say a squared equals, I'm just going to rewrite b squared and c squared, minus 2b, but I'm not going to write x. What I am going to do is I'm going to write in c cosine of a. Wham! There it is. There's your answer. All right, so how is this used? Oh, I, am, I, I love that proof. I think that proof is just wonderful. All right, so... Let's see if I can find a quick, um, a good example here. Um, let's say I have something like, oh, that is not pretty at all. Let's say, <laughs> yeah, that's so much better. So let's say this is A, this is B, and this is C, and this is 108, and I'm looking for this value, and this is 18, and this is 15. Well, um, in a different video on the law of signs, I said it's always useful to make a little, um, make a little table, A, B, C, A, B, and C, and my A is what I'm looking for, A equals X, my B is 15, my C is 18, my A is 108, and I don't know these. So, if you can make a funny Tetris looking shape, chances are you can use the law of cosines. If it's a rectangle, or a square I should say, use the law of sines. So, I'm looking for a, so I'm going to say a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of a. I'm going to say a squared equals, and the nice thing is, if you use your graphing calculator, you can usually do a lot of this all in one shot. Minus 2 times 15 times 18 times the cosine, oops, times the cosine of 108. And so I get a squared equals, and let's say 15 squared plus 18 squared. That gives me 549. And uh, 
cosine of 108. I get plus 166.86917. So I'll just say plus 87. When I add those, I get 3,800. I'm sorry, 300. Oh, wait a second. Oh, something went totally awry with my, my calculations here. If you, if you don't mind holding on for one minute, I'm going to do my work one more time. Huh. Well, something's going on with my calculations here. 15 squared plus 18 squared equals 549. 30 times 18 is 540 times the cosine 108. So I get 549 minus the answer. Oh, I should get, huh, that's much better. I get 715.87. Uh, you take the square root of both, and I'm going to get approximately. 26.76. I'm going to say feet. Um, the nice thing is, because I'm a fairly intelligent person, I can take a look and say, well, this angle is going to be the largest angle because it's an obtuse triangle. This is 15 and 8, this is 18. So the value of 26.76 actually makes sense. Um, yeah, I mean, it does make sense. Uh, and that's pretty much it. And let's see how much time I have. Oh, this video is kind of long. What I was going to do was I was going to show you a um, another example where we look at vectors and force. Uh, but I don't have the time right now because my video has to end.